The nation of Chiliax was once a great world power on Galorian, until it slipped into civil war that lasted for over thirty years. The people were desperate for some sense of order and peace, but this peace would cost them. During the Age of Enthronement, Chiliax was expanding its empire. Their ambitions were fueled even more by the Starfall Doctrine that prophesied that Aridin would appear in Chiliax in the year 4606 AR and issue in the Age of Glory with Chiliax at the helm. King Gaspidar began preparations, ready to hand over the crown to Aridin upon the gods' arrival. However, at the appointed time, Aridin did not return. Instead, he was dead. Robbed of his mandate, the king of Chiliax lost control of his empire as noble houses began to challenge each other for dominance. King Gaspardar was mysteriously killed in his palace at West Crown in the year 4622 AR, and thus the Chilish Civil War began. Brother turned against brother, political leaders and militant generals rose and fell, poverty and disease began to infiltrate the long anarchy as well. Years turned into decades, and people of Chilex became more and more desperate looking for any possible solution to the state of affairs. With no clear victor in the decades of war, Abigail of the House of Throne signed a dark pact with the powers of hell. This placed her and her family under their control. In return, she received a legion of devils to boister her forces and other devils to serve as her advisors to include the pit fiend Gorthkilik. With their help, Abigail brought the Chilish heartland under her control. Abigail Throne was crowned in 4640 AR and she ruled with an iron and diabolical fist. One of her first orders was to establish the worship of Asmodeus as the official state religion. She then moved the capital from West Crown to Egorian and demanded renewed fealty from Chiliax's outlying provinces. After 32 years of rule, Abigail was murdered by her own son, who then took the crown for himself. After a series of betrayal and mysterious death, Abigail's great-granddaughter, Abigail II, was crowned queen in the year 4709. She was but 17 years old. According to rumor, Abigail II altered the infernal contract originally signed by her great-grandmother to call General Gorth Kuklek to the material plane. The Pete Fiend now serves as an advisor to the Queen and an emissary to Asmodeus. Asmodeus himself provided a devil named Cortessa Lertha to serve as the young queen's instructor. It is believed that these two fiends help rein in the queen's more sinister wiles. Charismatic, beautiful, and born with magical ab abilities, the sorceress queen is a master at manipulation. She forces others to do her bidding. She often changes her mind and has her former edicts erased from the books of Chilaxian history. Keenly aware of her reputation for being immature and demanding, Abigail clearly uses this image to her advantage. She keeps those who would underestimate her off guard. Those who would betray her are often petrified in eternal adornment in her imperial palace and under her watchful eye. Enforcing her decrees are the Hell Knights, 
a collection of knightly orders with a unique focus on the stringent adherence to the law. But perhaps the Hell Knights deserve their own video. Thank you for joining me today on Galorian In Depth. If you like this content, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. I have just began a Patreon, so please show your support. I would greatly appreciate it. Until next time, happy gaming.